catching up on your sleep or catching up with your kids over a plate of Bisquick pancakes. At 42 minutes after the hour, you can find out what the weather is like in Germany and Spain. At 42 minutes after the hour, you can see the temperatures for Italy and France. And at 42 minutes after the hour, we explain how the conditions for England and Russia can affect travel plans. Watch International Weather. Now, 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. And now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. Big thunderstorms, and again, a flood watch has been issued for the second day in a row for parts of Minnesota. Very high rain potential because we have so much tropical air which has forced itself northward right up against the leading edge of the cool air from Canada, the cold front, and there are going to be some very heavy rainstorms coming out of this particular weather setup. Severe weather still a big concern, especially as we head across uh, the Midwest and down across parts of the Mid-Atlantic, although the big concern today is how do we deal with the incredibly hot air and the high humidity, the dangerously high heat indexes, especially around New York City, Philly, Baltimore. Washington and Harrisburg. Scattered storms, some strong at times along the Gulf Coast from Florida to Texas and then later today we should see this zone of potential strong storms developing even further. All right, let's take you into our radar out of Milwaukee. We've had some golf ball hail out in Waukesha County, north part of the county. The same storms are now moving towards the north edge of Milwaukee, heading up towards Ozaukee County. Most of the county has seen some rain, some pretty intense storms. They'll continue to move east out over Lake Michigan. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain. In the snow. It even saves gas. And now through July 31st, the tire engineered to take the world's finest luxury performance touring sedans through just about any weather helps you predict it. With this Oregon scientific weather forecasting station, free when you buy a set of four MXV4 tires, Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE technology. It's science that goes beyond magic. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you, because so much is riding on your tires. It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch the next weather scope at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
tropical storm Chantal is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel. Well, we will look at Chantal, tropical storm Chantal east of the Bahamas. We'll also look at some of the numbers. The heat index in some cases above 120 degrees today. No, that is not correct. Let's get that one off. Thank you very much. The heat index uh, very warm today in portions of to the east. We also have a look at your forecast to round out this weekend. Hopefully, the rest of this is going to go a little bit better. Let's look at the numbers and we'll show you what we've uh, found out there. As of 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, also 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight, Chantal, Tropical Storm Chantal is centered 360 miles north-northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Top sustained winds 50. Chantal moving west-northwest at 9 and the pressure has dropped off very slowly today. Uh, not much of a change, although certainly a little bit of a change compared to yesterday. So we do believe that Chantal is strengthening somewhat. Here's the latest that we have. The government of the Bahamas has issued uh, tropical storm warnings and watches. The extreme southeastern corner of the Bahamas are looking at warnings. The central Bahamas looking at watches at the present time. Again, our official track, uh, there's still a wide range of where the tropical storm may go. It still may continue over toward the Bahamas, but some other forecasts tend to pull Chantal to the north. So that's what we're watching. Although, as we do look at our infrared satellite photographs, lots of yellows and reds here, and the significant change today, it looks like some of these thunderstorms are finally starting to wrap around the center of circulation. In fact, the Hurricane Hunter, the Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft, had uh, said there was a closed circulation out there where they could see uh, about eight diameters or eight miles in diameter. That is about the width of this circulation center with the storms and the showers lining up around it. So that may indicate to us that the wind shear, the high level winds may have slackened up some so this could lead to further development. Really our main story at least for the past few days has been the heat wave stretching from Chicago. It's 96 today. 101 in New York City. Some other readings as we look across the uh, Great Lakes, much cooler today. We are seeing a line of showers and storms, though, cooling the temperatures down. Some of those right now near Milwaukee, and there have been some reports of some large hail with these storms. Heat index, heat index still quite uncomfortable around Chicago, 106 over to Cleveland, unbearable 110 degrees. Farther to the east, Philly and New York, you are tied. You're in a race to see how hot it can get. Around Baltimore, too, the temperature has topped 100 degrees today, and we're waiting to see if it's going to top out at 101 or 2 or maybe even up to 103. Heat index 1, 2, 3 at Philadelphia, D.C., Baltimore, New York, you're all in those mid-100s to near 120 degrees also. So it is, needless to say, quite hot outside, and what a better thing to do than sit inside and watch a little bit of TWC and keep updated with the weather. Okay, as we look at the latest satellite picture, we see a ridge of high pressure in the east. With high pressure, the air sinks and it heats up, and this is a rather large high pressure center across portions of the east. We do see a cold front to the north stretching out of this low and across the Great Lakes, a stationary front. Later tonight, we may see another massive thunderstorm complex like the one that raked across central New York State last night. Numerous reports of trees down. We're talking about a 20-mile swath in some locations, southern Adirondacks, Hamilton County, that uh, were just wiped out due to these uh, strong gusty winds from the thunderstorm. So a great idea would be, uh, before you hit the sack tonight, tune into the Weather Channel and just check the radar to see if another one of these storm complexes form. It may be in the same vicinity or a little bit farther to the east. In fact, the storms that are in Wisconsin now may be the forerunners of one of these thunderstorm complexes or some of the storms in uh, central Minnesota may be. As we look at the latest close-up radar out of the, um, southern Minnesota, some very heavy rains over toward uh, Yellow Medicine County reports of upwards of four inches of rain flash flooding going on. This rain making its way over toward the Twin Cities, so it's looking a little wet later today. Heading into the Ohio Valley, we do see some showers and storms. Some of these earlier down to around Metcalf County, farther to the north, heavy showers and storms in Dark County, western Ohio, 
Skies are dark due to torrential rains, even some thunderstorms now near Indianapolis, but the heaviest of the weather is in western Ohio to the west of Columbus. These storms are not moving fast, so they are producing tremendous amounts of water. Also near Milwaukee, you're looking at storms. These storms now crossing the lake, and we do see some storms starting to perk up north of Detroit. We'll watch those. Some of those have produced hail. Let's head back, look at your forecast, and this is the way it's looking for your Sunday. Maybe some storms around Philly to Detroit and Chicago. Again, we will watch for one of those large thunderstorm complexes that may form tonight anywhere through the Great Lakes. Locally heavy rains, of course, and we've already seen two, three, four inches of rain in some of those thunderstorms that have developed early this afternoon. Staying quite muggy in the southeast tonight. Tomorrow, another hot one into the 90s close to 100 degrees again tomorrow in Atlanta where it is just about today. Highs the next few days we will notice around New York and Boston and the Pittsburgh it's going to feel cool outside at least compared to the temperatures that we have seen the past couple of days. Your forecast looks like this as we look into Monday somewhat wet in the east from Philly to Pittsburgh up to Buffalo. Tuesday more storms in the northeast then the weather pattern will calm down but of course we'll have to watch the southeast for some tropical moisture. Coming up next, we'll have a look at tomorrow's forecast. At IMES, we know that having a cat can do wonders for a person's health and happiness. It can lower blood pressure, reduce stress, helping us lead longer, fuller lives. Well, now you can return the favor by feeding your cat IMES every day. Cats love its taste. And it's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams Cat Food, good for life. From the Iams Company. For West Coast info to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. This is the world's most powerful long-distance network. It carries the most calls, faxes, and data. It gives every call up to 134 routes. AT&T built it on one principle. The business world has its ups and its downs. Only AT&T's network is so reliable, it's guaranteed. Because your business shouldn't have to feel the impact. AT&T, for the life of your business. Remember Miss McGillicuddy, your sixth grade teacher? She was the greatest science teacher in the whole world. And it wasn't just because you had a crush on her. It was because she taught you the whys and wherefores of weather. 
Well, you're older now, and even though your crush on Miss McGillicuddy has faded, your need for weather information hasn't. That's why you watch the Weather Classroom Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern. It's not Miss McGillicuddy, but it's the next best thing. The Weather Classroom, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. It happens every day, hundreds of times, and you don't even know it. Earthquakes, right under your feet. It's a natural hazard that threatens millions of people. And every day, the Weather Channel brings you the Earthquake Activity Report. We'll advise of earthquake activity near the West Coast during the past 24 hours. Maps showing centers of activity are color-coded to official measurements. Watch the Earthquake Activity Report, only on the Weather Channel. Well, here's a look at our latest radar before we head into our forecast. We do have some heavy storms north of Detroit, also around the Milwaukee area. We'll keep an eye on these. In fact, we'll look at some radars just before our five-day forecast. Let's head into our forecast for today and see how it looks out there now. And we can tell you that our look ahead is sponsored by Healthy Choice Premium Low-Fat Ice Cream. Eat what you like. Temperatures the next few days, starting off with a mini heat wave in portions of the west from Spokane down to Boise, also the California Valley heating up, but this time of year that is normal. Likewise around Las Vegas to Phoenix. On the east coast, probably staying hot around Atlanta, you're up to 99 degrees today, but that doesn't beat areas like Baltimore, you're at 102. I think you'll see some relief by the time uh, Monday rolls around, especially into midweek. Much of the northeast, New York to Philly up to uh, Albany, much more pleasant readings. Your forecast looks like this, starting out wet in the northeast, then we'll have to turn our attention to the southeast and just watch where Chantal goes because some tropical moisture may head into the southeast. Coming up next, we'll look at the shore. I just think about a pint of ice cream and boom, there's a spoon in my mouth. When that little pine calls, I answer on the first ring. Hello. And why not? These are brand new healthy choice pints. Yeah, pints loaded with the good stuff. A chewy fudge, gooey caramel, mm, cappuccino mocha fudge. They're rich, creamy, only two grams of fat. It's magic and it's all mine. With new healthy choice pints, I eat what I like. Time for the big spoon. It's ice cream eating weather now. So tender, so innocent your gums, so vulnerable to the wicked germs hoping to ravage them. Insidiously, they can inflict gum disease. These germs are not fiction. They are in your mouth, threatening your gums. Stop them now with Listerine. Only germ-killing Listerine is clinically proven to help prevent the gum disease gingivitis. Listerine. The power of prevention. They're germs. They deserve to die. Well, as we look at our boating forecast out there today, first the latest UV index and some of the numbers for tomorrow running rather high. Ten around Tampa to Miami. Also some high numbers across portions of the Central Rockies. Maybe for your hikers, uh, especially the higher you go, that's uh, the higher the number because the UV index will increase. If you're going outdoors, a hat's always a good idea and certainly the appropriate amount of sunscreen. Winds tomorrow, a little bit stronger around the Cape, but generally light winds for the eastern coast. Lake Huron, also breezier. Rest of the Great Lakes looking at lighter winds. Light winds for the southeast for where the exception of a thunderstorm pops up, then of course we will find some winds stronger there. Also breezier conditions, sometimes windy along the Oregon coast. Uh, some of the winds may be in that 25 to 30 mile per hour range. Coming up next here at the Weather Channel, we have a look at our Florida forecast. That will look at well, that will include a look at temperatures and radar. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1900 Weather and connect. Can you figure out the cost of a long distance call? We haven't studied that yet. What do I look like, a mathematician? You don't need to be a math whiz to save with Sprint Sense. It's the simplest long distance calling plan yet. Just 10 cents a minute, every evening, every night, and all weekend long. Call now for Sprint Sense and you'll get an extra bonus, up to 100 minutes for free. Okay, but what are you gonna pay for a minute of long distance to someone, oh, say, 3,000 miles away? 50 to 60 cents a minute. 80 cents? No, not with Sprint Sense. All your state-to-state -state calls are just 10 cents a minute for a full 12 hours every weeknight and all weekend long. 
And Sprint Sense couldn't be simpler. There are no calling circles, no confusing percentages. And remember, if you call now, you'll get up to 100 minutes free. Sprint will even switch you for free. So let's review. What are you going to pay for long distance? Ten little pennies. A dime a minute. I'm talking one thin dime. Very good. Call 1-800-913-9732. the Weather Channel. Accurate and dependable forecasts you can always turn to. And when you're away from your television, the Weather Channel forecast is also available from the following. Well, as we look at our latest Florida forecast, this is the way it's shaping up. We see a good deal of sunshine today. There are just a few clouds, even a couple thunderstorms, those building across the Everglades, even a couple thunder showers now also building on the east side of Appalachie Bay. Heading on in, looking at our Florida radar, we do see some of the storms, some of those in the vicinity of Jacksonville, also Cedar Key, all the way over to the north side of Appalachie Bay. Heaviest of the storms south of uh, Lake Okeechobee over to around uh, Belle Glade, possibly heading over to around Clewiston and across much of the Everglades, of course, generally south of Alligator Alley. Water temperatures around 86 degrees. Keys, that is the warm spot right now. Temperatures out there, not so hot today. 94 though, rather typical around Fort Myers. A little bit cooler, 87 degrees at Panama City. Coming up next, our five-day report. I'll also show you some radars of severe thunderstorms from the Ohio Valley through the Great Lakes. Ma, if you have trouble sleeping, take a Unisom. It helped last time, didn't it? Didn't you feel better after a good night's sleep? It's okay. The doctor said it's not habit forming. That's right. Unisom. Ma, wow. there's nothing wrong with helping yourself get a good night's sleep. All right? I love you too. Identify yourself. Do you grab the bull by the horns, spit in the face of danger, throw caution to the wind, or are you a cornflake eater? No way. You plow into the flavor flexing up and atom taste Wheaties made with wall to wall, indoor, outdoor, toasty, tasty, 100% whole wheat. A whole mouthful of flavor. It's the whole enchilada. So for taste that tears it up, let's loose. Where's the pants? Try the over the top taste of whole wheat Wheaties. Don't let the weather jeopardize your plans for success. Tune in to the five-day business plan following your local forecast right here on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast coming up next only on the Weather Channel.
Well, as we look at our five-day forecast, shortly I'll tell you about some of the oppressive heat out there, but we do have another story today also, severe thunderstorms. This is one busy day. I think there's something out there for everybody. We have our tropical storm. We have some record-breaking heat. We also have some heavy storms. And the storms are a little bit more numerous. What essentially we have our high pressure centers scooting to the east, so that is allowing the atmosphere to cool down a little bit across the mid-U.S. So that's why we're seeing some additional storms build today. Latest radar will take you into Minnesota and over toward Yellow Medicine County reports of up to four inches of rain. We're talking about right in through here. The heaviest of the storms have now pushed to the east and eventually uh, some of this weather looks like it's heading into the Twin Cities. So if you have a softball game today, for instance, uh, it might get rained out because the rain certainly is coming in in a big way too. Looking farther east into the Ohio Valley northward to the southern Great Lakes, thunderstorms today, some of these have been rather strong. Two different areas. We have some down toward the Cumberland Plateau into southern Kentucky. Heaviest of the weather continues to be east central Indiana, west central Ohio. Even some storms now approaching Columbus earlier in Dark County, Ohio, reports of up to three inches of rain. These are slow movers. So where it's raining, you could see excessive amounts of water coming out of the sky. Eventually, these storms may head to around Columbus and to the north side of Cincinnati, over to around Indianapolis, some storms. Not nearly, though, the intensity that we're seeing the ones move across southwestern Ohio. As we look to the north, around Waukesha County, reports of some large hail, also over one inch of rain in short order. These storms continue to make their way across Lake Michigan, heading towards um, eastern or western edge, the uh, western edge of Michigan. Additional showers and storms all the way down to around Oakland County, north of Detroit. Large hail, also a possibility of these storms. A better view showing these storms all lined up. And this is like the third day in a row where we have seen some severe weather in lower Michigan. Heading back, checking some temperatures out. This is the way it's looking. 103 degrees right now in New York City. And uh, as we look a little bit more closely, New York and Philly are both in a race, I think, to see how hot it's going to be. But actually, the hottest temperature I could find is over at Poughkeepsie where you are looking at 106 degrees right now and over to Newark 104 degrees hottest all-time temperature is 105 so some of the hottest weather we have ever seen crossing the Great Lakes now heading to the Northeast the heat index 120 at New York and Philly Baltimore you have 123 degree heat index so you're leading right now Sunday's forecast looks like this maybe some cooling showers around Chicago and Detroit isolated storms across much of the south with rather muggy readings again this evening. As we look at the temperatures the next few days, 90s will still be common in the south, maybe highs near 100 degrees again in around Atlanta. Today you've been up to 99 so far. We will see a mini heat wave in the west for the Pacific Northwest. Temperatures normally in that 105, 106 degree range around Las Vegas and Phoenix. Much cooler readings for the Great Lakes and Northeast. Tuesday into Wednesday, 70s, that's going to feel cold compared to some of those heat indexes of around 120 the past few days. Your forecast starting out wet in the east from New York to Boston. What we will have to watch out for, though, is high pressure guiding our uh, tropical storm. Will Chantal bring some wet weather to the east? Not quite sure about that, but that's something we will be concerned about toward midweek. Coming up next, though, we have a look at some Pacific readings. Ralph's just like his dad. You can't keep him away from a fire. He's convinced he's got a job to do. And he does, because it wouldn't be the same without him. We eat some good food around here, and Ralph's no exception. He gets Alpha. It's got real beef in every bite. Loves that. How would you describe the taste of apple cinnamon Cheerios? It's good. Yeah, yeah it's um. What? Like what? It's you know. What? Come on, um, how hard could it be? It's a member of the apple food group. And the cinnamon. 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 Apple cinnamon. I'm thinking cereal. I'm thinking. It's the apple first, then you taste. The no, you taste. The One bite first, and the taste then will then tell you how good it is. Apple cinnamon Cheerios. Oh, sure. Uh, exactly what you said. It's too delicious for words. Now when you buy a Sunday at Dairy Queen, you can get another one free. Coupon on specially marked boxes of apple cinnamon Cheerios. 
Here's some of the weather in the Pacific. What we do see is a low pressure center south of Alaska hooked up with another low over toward the Hawaiian Islands, so dominated mostly by high pressure. That means fair skies and a breeze. Looking toward Alaska, we do see a couple of storms, one in the Gulf of Alaska, the other one down toward portions of the Aleutians. Highs yesterday quite mild, 83 bettles, but the warm location, Fairbanks at 84, that's usually a pretty typical for this time of year. Temperatures right now into the 50s and 60s, central portion of the state, upper 50s down toward the coast. Over toward the Hawaiian Islands, sun's coming up, and as you can see, we see plenty of sunshine, real nice day across Hawaii. We do see a rather warm reading yesterday at Honolulu, up to 90 or 92 degrees. Current reading right now is at 84. Coming up next here at the Weather Channel, we will look at some additional severe weather radars. We'll have the latest information on Tropical Storm Chantal, and we'll look at how hot it is in the east. 25 years together. They've just flown by. 25 years of kids, jobs, moving. I didn't just want to bring her back to her favorite place. I wanted to give her something she's only dreamt of. The 25th anniversary diamond necklace. Hello. This is soap scum, and it's very hard to get rid of. Or was. For Tylex soap scum remover. Made specifically to dissolve scum on contact. Just spray it on and wipe it off. Tylex soap scum remover. Insect. Bites? Now Cordaid rolls on the relief with new Fast Stick. Only Cordaid has it to stop the itch and help heal the bite fast. Mosquitoes? Strike? Just roll on the relief with new Cordaid Fast Stick. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour, only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Storm Chantal is spinning in the Atlantic and slowly moving northwest. Where is it headed? Stay with us. We'll have all the details right here on the Weather Channel. Well, certainly we will be watching Chantal, which is to the east of the Bahamas. The latest information and where we expect Chantal to go over the next couple of days. A couple other top stories today. Severe thunderstorms from portions of the Great Lakes to the Ohio Valley. Also the heat wave, and this is quite a heat wave that we are seeing. We'll show you the latest readings. First of all, let's start with Chantal. Chantal centered near 23.2 north, 
68.2 west as of 2 p.m. Atlantic Standard, 360 miles north-northwest of San Juan, and top sustained winds remain at 50. The pressure has dropped slightly, so that may indicate that there is a slight strengthening in Chantal. The government of the Bahamas have issued uh, watches, tropical storm watches, for the central Bahamas, but down toward the K uh, the Turks Island over toward Caicos Islands too, we're looking at tropical storm warnings. Again, this put out by the government of the Bahamas. Where do we expect uh, the tropical storm to go? Well, we have a little bit of a problem here. We have like four different types of forecasts. Two of those carry it more in this west-northwesterly path, maybe then a little bit of a turn. The other ones carry it much more of a northerly path. So a uh, little bit of a quandary. Right now we're still forecasting that west-northwest with a turn. The latest satellite photograph showing that the thunderstorms are developing a little bit more around that center of circulation today and as that happens this does increase the possibility of some strengthening. Air Force Reconnaissance Aircraft has been investigating again today and it has found a, a closed circulation here where around an eight mile diameter area that we do see the showers and thunderstorms building up and you can see for yourself that the center circulation right through here and the storms essentially are all around that center circulation so we believe that we will find some strengthening today. Our other top story, really our main story, is the heat wave. Some of the hottest readings ever recorded, of course, a couple days ago in Chicago, midway up to 106, the hottest reading ever. Well, today around Newark, you are quickly approaching the hottest temperature ever. It's 104 now, may reach that 105 degree temp soon. New York City, you're looking at 103 degrees right now, and also as we look farther to the west at some of the other hot readings, but it's much cooler today. Chicago, only 94 compared to those temperatures near 100. Still, the heat index is still up around 104. And over to Cleveland, it has cooled down, actually. Your heat index earlier was above 110 degrees. Looking northeast, Boston, 95, a hot day today. New York and Philly, you're tied at 103. Baltimore, you have 102. It's up to around 99 at Harrisburg. And right on over to Teterboro, you're also up around that 102 degree range. But hottest temperature I could find was at Poughkeepsie, uh, 106 degrees right now. No doubt about why it's so hot in your area. The winds are blowing from the west, and that wind's coming off the Catskills, the mountains, and as that air drops, it is heating up. So that hot westerly wind blowing in from the mountains. We are seeing uh, the heat index up near 120, New York City to Philadelphia. Still the leader this hour over at Baltimore, you have a heat index of 123. We are seeing a slight break in the heat in this high pressure center, thunderstorms forming from Michigan southward into northern Georgia, additional storms down toward the Gulf Coast. So with the thunderstorms today, with the excessive heat, there's a good chance we could find some severe storms popping up. The best chance will be from the Midwest into portions of the Northeast. Last night, or early this morning really, across the Adirondacks into Western Mountains, Massachusetts, some very strong wind gusts. Up to 77 miles per hour at the airport at Albany, that is the second highest wind gust ever recorded. And there was numerous reports of trees and power lines down. In fact, there was one area, a 20 mile wide swath of trees that were cut down by strong winds. That was in the southern Adirondacks in uh, Hamilton County, New York. Thunderstorms, there are a couple severe weather watches in Michigan southward into Indiana and Ohio, portions of Kentucky. Looking first of all into Minnesota, over toward Yellow Medicine County, up to four inches of rain has been reported. This rain heading over toward the Twin Cities, so it could be a, a rather wet afternoon. Additional storms continue to fire from extreme southeastern Illinois to central Ohio. These storms now heading toward Columbus. Some storms near Indianapolis, those aren't so heavy. These are the ones that we're watching. Look for flash flooding, also the possibility of hail. Waukesha County, some large hail earlier. These are now pushing into the lake. Additional storms now over to around Oakland County, north of Detroit. Some of these may contain hail too. Let's look back at your forecast and see how it's panning out the next few days. Well, as we look at the Sunday, maybe some storms again. This evening, there could be some additional complexes of thunderstorms. Great idea before you go to sleep tonight, before you hit the sack, check back and uh, see if any of these uh, thunderstorm complexes, which caused quite a bit of damage in New York last night, 
We may see another one of those type of things develop this evening with very heavy amounts of rain. Temps tonight, muggy east, quite pleasant across northern Rockies. Heat wave will remain in the southeast from Atlanta right on over to around Chattanooga and Birmingham. Notice it's going to be hot in the west too, but this time of year that is fairly typical. You can see very little change, 90 south, generally 70s to the north. Chance of rain in the northeast with the next front from Pittsburgh to Philly, then Boston to New York by Tuesday. Then we'll have to watch for some tropical moisture, maybe coming into the southeast somewhere around midweek. Coming up next, we have our forecast for Europe. An egg, a little bisquick, some milk. On a Sunday morning, it adds up to a lot more than pancakes. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. and temperatures across Europe. Watch International Weather coming up right after your local forecast only on the Weather Channel. Do they make super glues hard to use on purpose or what? Luckily, someone invented this new quick tight super glue with a really simple design. So, it opens easy, fixes easy, and won't clog up. Stick with something simple. New quick tight. Oh, summer kind of makes you want to eat outside, doesn't it? But with Long John Silver's new Big Fish Feast, it's no picnic. It's a party! It's our famous fish and more multiplied to feed four. Legendary batter-dipped fish, fries, coleslaw, hush puppies, plus golden corn. Perfect for a tasteful family outing or an outrageous eating adventure. And it's an outstanding deal for less than three bucks a meal. Now at Long John Silver's. And hurry in for our value meal starting at a buck ninety-nine. Go fish with Long John Silver's, where America goes for fish. If your car isn't performing like it used to, put back the power with Slick 50 fuel system formula. Ten times more powerful than the leading fuel treatment, Slick 50 cleans the entire fuel system. You'll feel the difference guaranteed. Ask for Slick 50 fuel system formula. More power to you. Slick 50 fuel system formula can be found at the following fine retailers. Now available from the Weather Channel, Sky on Fire, a spectacular new home video about lightning, nature's uncontrollable electrical monster. This special video is loaded with some of the most terrifying and beautiful lightning displays that have ever been recorded. And this fabulous video is only $19.95. You will see lightning that is so spectacular, we're sure you'll agree you've never seen anything like it before. See terrified golfers when a lightning storm invades a golf tournament. See amazing photography from outer space. See how lightning can threaten airplanes in midair. On this exclusive home video from the Weather Channel, you will see more spectacular and unusual lightning displays than many people ever see in a lifetime. All for only $19.95. Call 1-800-431-5577 now with your credit card ready. That's 1-800-431-5577. Call now. Time to look ahead, and it's sponsored by Frigidaire, the, a full line of high-quality appliances with a look of better performance. Ooh, the heat goes on, but you're going to get a break. Boston, it'll feel good uh, later tomorrow, and tomorrow night, same for New York City, back down into the 80s for you. 
and even slightly cooler down toward the Baltimore, Washington area. However, the southeast stays very hot. A lot of sudden 90s from Atlanta back into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Florida, of course, hot all the time this time of year. Hot in the southwest deserts and even into the uh, valleys of California, San Francisco. With the lack of an onshore flow, is kind of warm even today. And the heat builds back into the Midwest on Wednesday. Still less oppressive for you from Chicago to Detroit into New York and Boston right on through Thursday. Look out for thunderstorms Monday, though. New York and Philly keep the umbrella handy in Boston come Tuesday, but winding down by midweek. Stay tuned. We'll look at your local forecast. Introducing the professional series from Frigidaire. Polished stainless steel fashioned to create a culinary look that speaks to your soul and says, Yes, I am a chef. While it whispers to your budget, Oh, I'm also very smart. Frigidaire's new professional series. Call 1-800-FRIGIDAIRE. It's the look of better performance in stainless steel. If you can make that shot. America's favorite bad golfer is back. That will go down as the greatest shot in golf history. It's Leslie Nielsen's all new bad golf, my way. Keep your eye on the ball. That's right. Your hand on your wallet. All right, let's make it an even hundred. And play by the rules. Slav game, five yard penalty. There's no way you're gonna get out of this match. Can you believe this? Clowns on a golf course, I'm <laughs> shocked. From now on, we are going to play normal, proper golf. Call now for the hilarious all-new comedy sports video, Leslie Nielsen's Bad Golf, My Way. It's not how you win, it's how the other guy loses. Tell me about it. Call now to order Leslie Nielsen's Bad Golf, My Way, only $19.98. This video makes the perfect gift. Rush delivery available. Call 1-800-645-4545. That's 1-800-645-4545. And international weather is sponsored by the Travel Channel. Quick satellite view shows us an area of low pressure north of Scotland. And we do have some rain, or a little bit of rain anyway, through the British Isles. You could use the rain, or they could use the rain, basically because there's water rationing going on there. It's been very hot throughout most of the summer with a ridge of high pressure dominant, especially in Germany. It's been very hot there and down to the south. Thunderstorms coming out of Germany into Poland and wrapping around the front into Scandinavia as well. Temperatures a little cooler in London, 70 degrees, and very cool with some rain near Oslo at 54, but even in the evening, it's very, very warm in the mid-continent. Over to Kiev, 75, Minsk at 68. Here comes the front, some rain into the Ukraine, Belarus, into uh, Latvia as we move into Monday and a few showers into the British Isles, a little cooler than it has been. Watch out for air pollution in Athens this time of year. Showers in London, uh, Frankfurt partly cloudy, and the same in Vienna. We have a tropical storm. We'll see if it may affect the U.S. It's coming right up. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Tim Conway's back, and he's hauling in a whopper. It's Dork Goes Fishing, this year's funniest comedy home video. Let Tim Conway as that master sportsman dork show you everything you've always wanted to know about fishing. Go back in time to man's first fishing method. Let Dork show you what to wear, how to clean your day's catch, how to get in shape, the joys of fishing with your spouse, plus important boating and safety tips. Dork Goes Fishing is guaranteed to be the funniest fishing video you've ever seen, and it's not available in stores. So what are you waiting for? Call and order Dork Goes Fishing today. Call now and you'll get Dwarf Goes Fishing plus this official Dwarf floating keychain absolutely free. For rush delivery, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-247-7979. The funniest, the most outrageous Tim Conway is very best Dwarf Goes Fishing. That's 1-800-247-7979. Or send 1995 plus four dollars to the address shown on your screen.
watching the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. Bites? Now Cordaid rolls on the relief with new Fast Stick. Only Cordaid has it to stop the itch and help heal the bite fast. Mosquitoes? Strike? Just roll on the relief with new Cordaid Fast Stick. The last time we were here was when I proposed. Ten years. It seems like only yesterday. I told you then how much I loved you, and nothing's changed. The Diamond Anniversary Band. On your 10th, show her you'd marry her all over again. Tropical Storm Chantal has increased a little bit in strength, at least over the past 12 to 24 hours. And there's the uh, latest advisory from the Hurricane Center. Uh, actually, there was an intermediate advisory, and basically that was put out because the government of the Bahamas did, is did issue warnings for the Southeast Bahamas and watches uh, back here through the middle. Estimated uh, sustained winds at 50 miles per hour, and it's moving west-northwest a little bit uh, more frisky than it did early at nine miles per hour. The pressure has come down a little bit as it continues its trek toward the west-northwest. And here we go, we have the tropical storm warnings for the southeast Bahamian Islands in the central Bahamas. Tropical storm watch remains in effect that issued again by the government of the Bahamas. We'll look at the infrared satellite picture. We color in the thunderstorm tops uh, that are the greatest. And what we would like to see as far as strengthening is, is concerned is a wrapping of the thunderstorms around the center of the system, which hasn't quite happened yet. This system has gone, undergone a very slow strengthening uh, period and it looks like that slow strengthening is continuing as the system continues its west-northwest track. Uh, once again with the visible satellite picture we can see thunderstorms bubbling up around the east, north, and at least the northwest side of the center of circulation but it really isn't coming completely together uh, as a hurricane at least at this time. We'll have to see if it does develop uh, as time goes on. Now, it continues to move to the west-northwest, but there are things going on up here at the higher latitudes. We have the massive ridge of high pressure, which has brought an unprecedented heat wave to the northeast. That is showing signs of breaking down. As that happens, uh, the weakness in pressure could induce this system to turn a little bit more to the north. We'll, uh, we're not exactly sure that that's going to happen, but there's a possibility that it will divert from its path and go to the north. We're just not ready to call it at this particular time, but we are watching things that are going on up in here that may have an effect on the path of Chantal. It continues to move to the west-northwest, and if you live in the southeastern U.S., we would uh, like you to continue watching the Weather Channel for the latest updates. Off of Africa, we had a tropical wave, but it got caught up with a wind flow in the upper atmosphere, which sheared it, so we're not worried about this. And we have another wave coming off the African coast, perhaps a little less impressive than the previous two, but we'll continue to watch it anyway. Caribbean and uh, Eastern Atlantic, or Eastern Pacific rather, not so bad. And if we move on to the Pacific, we'll look at Hurricane Barbara, which is really starting to wind down as it comes into colder water and the winds are continuing to decrease, as you can see. Although, a little convection still hanging around. This is certainly not as impressive as it was yesterday. Let's come back home and look at some oppressive heat. LaGuardia Airport, 103 degrees, and of course that's a humid 103 as well. As a matter of fact, if you live around LaGuardia, it feels like 120. That is tremendously oppressive heat. Please don't uh, try to do anything rigorous outdoors. This can really have a detrimental effect on humans and, of course, uh, your pets as well. 116 at the nation's capital. You get the idea with these high dew points. They're about the highest dew points I've ever seen over a large area, at least from this particular heat wave. And the heat index in the danger zone tomorrow from the Ohio Valley down to the south. Now, there is a little front 
sneaking down through New England, which is going to cool you off a little bit in Boston and New York. Earlier today, a massive area of thunderstorms came through New York State, the Mohawk Valley, western Massachusetts, all the way down to the south shore with wind gusts over 80 miles per hour and some damage with those storms, and we could have even more of them from the Midwest to southern New England. All along this front, which is trying to come down from Canada, this high south of James Bay, will be pushing the cooler air down through Boston, Providence, and New York. So tomorrow will not be as hot, but it's still going to be fairly hot from Virginia down to the south. And thunderstorms along this front, Chicago into Detroit come tomorrow, another round of heavy rain with the thunderstorms. Scattered thunderstorms in the southeastern part of the country. The west looks really nice. San Francisco, a little warmer than you have been lately. Looks like the heavy rain again along the front, oppressively hot again tonight. Anytime you have a lot of water vapor in the atmosphere, it absorbs the radiation from the earth and keeps the temperature up. The heat doesn't escape. And a little cooler, Boston, Providence, New York tomorrow, but still hot from Cincinnati on southward. Stay tuned. We'll see how travelers are affected. Saturday morning. You can spend them catching up on your sleep or catching up with your kids over a plate of Bisquick pancakes. Find out the conditions before you get on the road. Watch the Michelin Drivers Report, following your local forecast only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Hard to use on purpose or what? Luckily, someone invented this new quick tight super glue with a really simple design. So, opens easy, fixes easy, and won't clog up. Stick with something simple. New quick tight. Clog drain? Professional strength liquid plumber drain opener doesn't dilute in standing water. So, more of the good stuff hits the hair clog. So, it's the strongest you can buy. So, I hate it. Sorry, plumbers. It's the in-depth story on the weather that affects you. It's uninterrupted weather information. It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Get the news of changing weather events along with a detailed explanation of what's happening, plus a recap of the day's weather and the outlook for the rest of the week. Watch the next weather scope, mornings and evenings at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. 
now it's time for the Michelin Drivers Report, brought to you by Michelin and your participating Michelin dealers. And a whole bunch of thunderstorms are forming in Minnesota. And the same if you live in Indiana, Ohio, down through Kentucky and Tennessee. Quick look at a radar here and see what's going on. So these thunderstorms are severe now, coming into Oakland County, uh, north of Detroit. Heavy thunderstorms, Cincinnati to Columbus. And notice they are very sluggish. They don't want to move. The upper wind flow is very, very light. So this heavy rain can hang around in one area for a long time. Keep that in mind as the thunderstorms extend down through Tennessee. And the threat of severe weather is with us right through this evening from the Midwest and over along that frontal boundary into southern New England. That could affect Boston and Providence down toward New York once again. But in the meantime, the severe weather watches are out from Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and on up through lower Michigan, as we said, north of Detroit. So very, very heavy thunderstorms now. And uh, the same with the rain coming into Minneapolis, too, and scattered about the southeast. Stay tuned. We'll have more news on the tropical storm. And when is this heat wave going to break? We'll find out. It's a breakthrough that brings us to a new level of performance. In the rain. In the snow. It even saves gas. And now through July 31st, the tire engineered to take the world's finest luxury performance touring sedans through just about any weather helps you predict it. With this Oregon scientific weather forecasting station, free when you buy a set of four MXV4 tires, Michelin's new energy tires with radial XSE tech. Find Michelin tires at this dealer near you because so much is riding on your tires. It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch the next weather scope at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Massive thunderstorms sweeping down from Canada hit parts of the northeast early this morning, causing injuries and destruction. Hello, I'm Tom Moore. And I'm Declan Cannon. We'll also look at the continuing heat wave in the east, and there are tropical storm watches and warnings in the Bahamas, courtesy of Chantal. But we start with severe conditions in Minnesota. Late yesterday afternoon, Minnesota was hit hard with severe weather and heavy rain. Roads were flooded, trees and power lines were down from the storms. We'll update the current conditions next on WeatherScope. scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. This is Weather Scope this afternoon. Severe weather struck parts of New England early this morning, causing destruction throughout the area. In Hamilton County, New York, a 20-mile swath of trees were toppled 
by straight line winds and in Warren County there were multiple injuries reported as more trees were down at local campsites. Elsewhere, the Minneapolis-St. Paul area received its share of stormy weather. The storm caused flooding in several locations around the city. It brought down trees as well as power lines. As a result of the storm, at least 6,000 homes were without power. More thunderstorms, heavy at times, are in the forecast through at least later this evening. And for the past few days, Duluth, Minnesota has seen continuous showers and thunderstorms and it was pretty much the same story yesterday with about a half an inch of rain falling in the city. But good news is on the way. Sunday, we may have partly cloudy skies and cooler readings with highs, are you ready, in the upper 70s. Well, severe weather continues to be a theme as we head into this evening. These are severe thunderstorm watches in effect from Michigan heading south into Kentucky as we're heading into the nighttime. Big thunderstorms developing and you notice the bright yellow and red. Those are the tops of some of the more intense storms. Now, interestingly enough, these storms are developing pretty doggone close to the upper high center. So we have very, very light wind flow here. These storms that are developing a very high potential of producing quite a bit of flooding. We see numerous reports of flooding today in Indiana, in Ohio with the slow moving storms. Meanwhile to the west, this is the actual position of the cold front located across Minnesota stretching south into the plains. A large area of moderate to occasionally heavy rain with embedded thunderstorms in Minnesota. All of this continues to move northeast. It'll be heading towards northwest and west central Wisconsin in the next six hours or so. Severe weather in and out of Milwaukee Metro all day today. Just recently in Waukesha County, one inch hail, 60 mile an hour winds, new storms developing to the west of where the first line went through. And some scattered severe storms, especially north of Detroit, heading off towards the northwest into west central lower Michigan. So very, very active as we head into the nighttime. And these are those severe storms producing flooding, especially around Dark County in west central Ohio. Another cluster of big thunderstorms in southwest Indiana. And again, with the light upper level winds, not much movement, generally speaking, with these thunderstorms today. Well, the scorching heat wave continues to roast a large area of the country, and today the searing heat continued to make its way to the east. Yesterday in Washington, D.C., you could see the heat rise from the crowded streets, and tourists to our nation's capital hunted out some shady trees wherever they could. Today's high was near 100. Actually, it's 99 right now. Look for hazy skies tomorrow with a slight risk of thunderstorms and highs maybe a little cooler in the middle 90s. Let's go to Chicago. And from the swimming pool to the sidewalk, Chicagoans were searching for relief from the heat yesterday after some initial trepidation. Even the youngest discovered the joys of cooling dips in the pool. Meanwhile, relief for some in the water from a fire hydrant meant extra work for firefighters. Tomorrow should begin a cooling off period with a chance of thunderstorms near 90. If you want to get out of the heat and into the water, that seemed to be the theme yesterday. As people in Detroit look for ways to beat the heat, residents flocked to Kent Lake in Kensington Park to take a dip in the cooling water. Look for thunderstorms tomorrow. Highs dropping to the lower 90s, if you call that dropping, although there are some very, very heavy thunderstorms, as Declan pointed out, just to the north of the city. Boy, it's just so hot out there, and uh, these are temperatures from 3 o'clock. The 4 o'clock temperatures are just about ready to get into the computer, but I know it's 99 now in Washington, D.C., and you get the picture, though, whether it's 103 or 105, it hardly makes any difference. Dew points are incredibly high. As a matter of fact, uh, we've had 80 dew points from Minneapolis to Philadelphia, probably the highest that I've ever seen, at least for such an expansive area. It feels like over 120 now in New York, as well as Philadelphia, and you get the picture. It's hot, but there is some relief on the way as this high up here south of James Bay is going to force this cold front down through New England. So Boston and Providence, you'll feel cooler. And maybe by midnight, that front will be flirting with the New York City area. And that'll cool you all off just a bit as well. It's a hot day. Buffalo, you were in the mid-80s yesterday because the wind was coming off the lake. With a west wind, you're up at 94. You can see where the front is in here. Still 94 in Chicago, and it feels like 104. But cooler weather may be on the way. Declan. All right, let's take a look at what's happening with our tropical system. Tropical Storm Chantal desperately trying to get better organized over the last couple of days, but still not able to get a lot of the thunderstorms to wrap around the center of lowest pressure, which continues to run at about 10.05, 10.06 millibars as of late this afternoon. Reconnaissance 
on the way back to Antigua, we'll have another flight, I believe, coming up for later on this evening. We'll get some new information regarding the structural integrity of our tropical storm. Until then, I do want to let you know tropical storm warnings have been issued by the government of the Bahamas for the southeastern part of the Bahamas, including the Turk and Caicos, as we head into the nighttime hours. Well, it's time to look into weather history on this day back uh, seven years ago severe weather caused tragic results in Iowa intense thunderstorm complex produced three tornadoes within a five minute period in the council bluffs area 88 people were injured over 1,000 homes were damaged in the city 18 were completely destroyed one of the tornadoes rated on the fish Fujita scale at an F3 blew a 40 car freight train off the tracks and damage was up at 43 million dollars well, we've had to worry about some severe weather, and let's uh, move on into the future and see what it looks like in our country over the next two or three days. That high pressure ridge has held the fort for a while. It's brought the massive heat wave to the Midwest and to the Northeast, but a series of thunderstorms just keep chipping away at the northern part of this ridge, and it's been kind of flattening it out a bit, and the cooler air is going to come down via the jet stream into the Great Lakes. So from Minneapolis to Chicago, you'll cool off tonight and tomorrow, even in New York City, it will cool off as a cold front at the surface eventually comes on through, first from the north and then the western cold front will sweep. And even into the southeast, we're crossing our fingers and hoping for a little bit of cooler weather coming on in, uh, say, toward Chattanooga, Atlanta, and Birmingham. Maybe by midweek, at least it won't be in the upper 90s. In the meantime, here's the front I was talking about. The, there's a little bit of what we call a backdoor front as it sneaks down the coast. And the cooler air is already in northern New England, so it uh, won't be as humid tomorrow in New York City. That's certainly good news for you. Down around D.C., it'll still stay hot and the rain will be around this low. So keep the umbrella handy around Chicago to Detroit. Some of the thunderstorms in here could be quite nasty tomorrow, northern Ohio into Pennsylvania. Scattered rains in the southeast. The west coast, a little warmer than it has been. Places like San Francisco, not dealing with as much of an onshore flow as we've had. Pleasant weather, Seattle and Portland, southern California looking good as well. In the meantime, the heaviest rain will be right along that frontal boundary from the Midwest right onto the east coast. You get a lot of uh, water vapor in the air and that just absorbs the infrared radiation coming up from the earth so it keeps the temperatures high. That's why when it's so humid the nighttime lows stay way up there. Tomorrow on the hot side but not quite as hot for you, Boston, Providence, New York, maybe a little cooler in Philly as the front hangs around your area. As we move into the future it looks like it's really going to stay hot in the southeast but much more pleasant weather right around 80 I think you can handle that in Chicago on your Tuesday about 80 in New York and Boston as well southwest well you're always hot in Phoenix this time of year so it's nothing new and I think it's going to be a little warmer along the coast than what you usually have in the interior valleys of California will stay hot as well and as we move into Thursday the heat begins to come back a little bit in the Midwest with 90s again in St. Louis and Cincinnati and thermometer getting well up into the 80s from New York to Boston but then again not quite as hot as it's been this week. Thunderstorms keep the umbrellas handy along the eastern seaboard as that front hangs along the coast on your Tuesday. As we move into the midweek period we're going to have less and less in the way of rain throughout the middle of the country and then the little disturbance rides on down to the Midwest as we move on into Thursday. Incredible heat Matter of fact, many record highs were set. Declan, has ever been this hot in an expansive area? It's so incredibly hot, but also, maybe even more importantly, incredibly humid across the Northeast. We'll have more in just a moment. A puzzle. With so many stomach remedies around, which can you take for indigestion? And for diarrhea? And for upset stomach? For most any common stomach problem, the answer is Pepto-Bismol. Up-to-date information on the weather that affects you. Watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel.
latest info to keep you in the know, watch the Pacific Update, only on the Weather Channel, weather you can always turn to. Introducing Red and Butter's Cheddar. Delicious butterfly kernels covered in white and golden cheddar cheese flavors. New Red and Butter's Cheddar. So good, it's irresistible. We love to travel, and we travel from city to city. My husband drives a little Dodge coat, and I drive a Suburban with the RV behind it. And wherever we go, we find a Walmart. It's where I always save money. That's the reason we bought our sunshades here. The Max Reflector Sunshade is double thick and double sided. I have them in the car, and I have them in the RV, and it keeps it cool. This is the Magic Shade Sunshade. You pop them in your windshield when you park. And it works well to keep the heat out. I'm glad I came to Walmart today. If you're traveling across the country, we have a lot of problems, especially in the Midwest as a complex of thunderstorms is moving on through and really not moving very fast at all. Western Ohio into Kentucky because the winds aloft are not carrying these storms very fast. Then we have a cold front that came through temporarily. The atmosphere was stabilized around Boston and down toward uh, New York City with the cluster of thunderstorms that came through this morning, but I think it's getting uh, unstable again, and we could have more in the way of thunderstorms develop at any time, R actually right on through tomorrow morning over to the eastern seaboard, but at least it's going to cool off for you in New England. And our national radar shows us some rain approaching the Twin Cities, severe weather for you north of Detroit, and you can see the clusters of thunderstorms all the way down to about the Tennessee-Georgia border along the Gulf Coast up toward New Orleans and moving from the east to the west across Florida. There you see that other line of thunderstorms now coming on down through New England. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel. We have a massive heat wave. We have a tropical storm. We'll fill you in on the details of all of that coming right up. It's a scope of coverage you won't find anywhere else. Watch the next weather scope at the top and bottom of the hour, only on the Weather Channel. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1-900-WEATHER and connect. Share your secret moments. Share classical moments. A sensuous music collection. Get over three hours of beautiful music on three cassettes for just $19.99 or three compact discs for $26.99. Share the secret of classical moments. Call now to order. To order classical moments, call 1-800-213-0400. Or send us $19.99 for three cassettes or $26.99 for three compact discs. Plus $4 shipping to Classical Moments, Department 1, Richmond, Virginia. Watch the five-day business planner here on the Weather Channel at 20 minutes after every hour. You get a comprehensive national report that covers the forecast over the next five days. Watch the five-day business planner coming up soon on the Weather Channel. A puzzle. With so many stomach remedies around, which can you take for indigestion? 
and for diarrhea, and for upset stomach. For most any common stomach problem, the answer... Time for the Bowdoin Beach Report. Look out on the area lakes up in Minnesota as the rain and thunderstorms continue to ride around the top of this ridge of high pressure. Thunderstorms developing in northern New England, Vermont, into lower Maine, uh, right along our frontal boundary. Lots of thunderstorms here, and these aren't moving much, so there's some flooding going on in southwest Ohio, and the thunderstorms extend into Tennessee, a little monsoonal moisture into the southwest, and a couple of big thunderstorms in south Florida. In the northeast, we have this front trying to come down. Our winds will go a little more to the north-northeast, sinking down through southern New England later tonight into tomorrow. And in the Great Lakes, a little cooler as the front tries to come in, but the area of low pressure will actually be around Chicago. You can see that if you're out in the lake, it'll feel a lot cooler than you're on land. In the southeast, you don't get cooling sea breezes with these water temperatures well up into the 80s. Hot day in San Francisco with the winds actually slanting offshore a bit, picking up around Oregon, but still lots of sunshine on the west coast. Stay tuned to the Weather Channel. We'll look at the Pacific update. Heat index right now in Philly is 129. That just boggles my mind. Take a good look through new Transitions Comfort Lenses. The new lightweight plastic prescription lenses with a special tint that lightens and darkens as the light changes. The only lightweight plastic lenses that darken and lighten just like that. It's comfort you can see day or night, inside or outside. Ask for new Transitions Comfort Lenses and see for yourself. They're right in any light. Hey, so you're having Special K for breakfast? Yep, sure am. Well, try Total if you want 100% of 11 of the many vitamins and minerals you need. Try to get the same amount from Special K, and you'll have to add a lot more than just milk. Like what? Well, you could start with a little banana for B6. Oh, banana. Cabbage for vitamin C. Cabbage. Pork chop for niacin. A burger for iron. And some mackerel for B12. I'll try the Total. <laughs> Make Total part of your balanced diet. One bowl, 100% of 11 vitamins and minerals. Yeah, it's great. Okay, we're going to take a look at the Alaskan Hawaii update right now. And of course, as we move on into the Gulf of Alaska, area of low pressure skimming the South Shore, and we've had a little bit of cloudiness and actually a little bit of rain coming on into uh, Fairbanks area where it was 84 yesterday. It's a little bit cooler there today. I think you'll struggle to get above the 70 mark. Uh, trade winds are not quite as strong in the Hawaiian Islands as they usually are, but already 86 degrees in Honolulu. Hilo sitting at 81, east wind at 14 miles per hour in Honolulu at the current time. Fairbanks with the rain at 55 degrees. If we look at Anchorage, 60, and lots of clouds around your area, and a little bit on the warm side even on the North Shore, upper 50s to low 60s there. So not quite as warm in Alaska, but then again, it's very warm over other parts of the country, and we do have a tropical storm in the Atlantic. What's that going to do for the rest of the country. We'll find out with the five-day forecast. Here's Declan. Okay, thanks a lot, Tom. And uh, what a mess this heat wave combined with such incredibly high levels of humidity, as Tom has mentioned. Uh, this is making it just about uncomfortable for everybody across the mid-Atlantic today. We have record highs once again, uh, dew point temperatures above 80 in some spots combined with temperatures near or above 100 degrees. So just an incredible heat wave. High pressure pushes a cold front into the north mid-Atlantic by tomorrow morning. So that will provide some cooling relief. An area of low pressure which is now in Kansas uh, around, excuse me, southwestern Iowa is going to head up in this direction, head across Wisconsin and the lower lakes. We could see a very large area of thunderstorms developing in association with the cold front and the low. Uh, this atmosphere is uh, like a powder keg. It has been warmed so extensively. The temperatures have reached so high late this afternoon south of this frontal boundary that the atmosphere, at least potentially speaking, is very explosive. It just needs a triggering mechanism, and this should do it. These storms have already popped in Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Some have been severe, especially in and around Milwaukee for most of the day. During Sunday afternoon, the front is uh, working its way through southeastern Iowa. It's not a very fast-moving cold front. Uh, you notice northwest Illinois, we have the front pushing down towards Rockford, and then as the day progresses, heading on towards Chicago. So finally, Thunderstorms uh, 
pushing back into northern Illinois. Yeah, that has been a little tough to do lately. Storms have been widespread in the Ohio Valley, southeast of Chicago today. Also, storms, as mentioned, north of Chicago, up in Wisconsin. But tomorrow, we should see the thunderstorms uh, kicking about in Chicago. They may actually be coming in later on tonight. Showers and storms in the southwest. A fairly high amount of tropical moisture has managed to make its way into the southwest part of the country during the last couple of days. Now you notice the readings tonight, more 70s, some low 80s in the cities. Tomorrow back into the heat, although the cold front having its effects on temperatures, high temperatures scheduled for southern New England. There will be some showers and thunderstorms along that front. You know, the front will slide south and then at some point it's going to stop and then try to come back north as a warm front. So there could be some very wet weather setting up over parts of the northern mid-Atlantic. Uh, New York City, northern Pennsylvania heading over towards uh, Hartford and Providence. So uh, could be dealing with showers and thunderstorms for a couple of days actually. 90s over the southeast. The southwest stays very warm as we're heading through Wednesday and Thursday with daytime highs above 100 degrees. Here's your forecast Monday. Don't forget we still have tropical storm Chantal. We'll be keeping a close eye on the projected track of that tropical weather system as far as its potential ramifications for the east side of the country. The showers and thunderstorms quite numerous in the northeast on Monday, even Tuesday. More thunderstorms in the forecast. This would be the cold front coming through. So we have a couple of features, both warm fronts, cold fronts, instability in the atmosphere so that at least over the next three to five days we could be talking about some beneficial rain for the northeastern part of the country. That's certainly something that's desperately needed as you head up into New England. The tail end of the front pretty much stuck over the southeast. It's tough to get a cold front to move too far into the south in the midst of summer. There's usually just not enough push to the cold front to get it to move too far to the south. These thunderstorms uh, forming in the afternoon heat over the southwest may be a tendency to make some of these uh, develop a little farther west. So that could include the Sierra in California as we go into the second part of the week. Let's take a look at a national radar. We've zoomed into central and eastern sections of the country, developing severe storms from Iowa south into Kansas and north Texas. Tremendous storms here in the Ohio Valley. Not much motion on these storms. High potential for flooding rain and severe storms still affecting parts of Milwaukee Metro, but you notice the absence of clouds or thunderstorms around North Chicago. We did get a bit of an outflow boundary though that pushed through Waukegan, Illinois, and the temperature dropped about 10 to 12 degrees within the past hour, but not much uh, rain to go with that shift into the Northeast. <laughs> I'm Julie. Julie, can I ask you something? Sure, you can ask me anything. Where would you get that cheese popcorn? Thanks. Introducing Red and Butter's Cheddar. Delicious butterfly kernels covered in white and golden cheddar cheese flavors. New Red and Butter's Cheddar. So good, it's irresistible. Alrighty, let's take a look and check into Florida. See what's happening in the state. You'll notice as we put our satellite image into motion. You'll see some clouds here along the southeastern seaboard. That was earlier today. Thunderstorms developing in the afternoon heat over the south part of the peninsula and even a few buildups uh, around Jacksonville and then again heading westward over to the other coast. Uh, here's the radar perspective. Thunderstorms across southwestern Florida. You can see a line here from north to south. Uh, these thunderstorms not showing too much motion today. Uh, so some heavy rain potential certainly. And it looks like we have a bit of a sea breeze, which has helped kick off some of the storms in northwestern Florida. As far as the UV or ultraviolet index, this is the forecast for midday Sunday. Nines and tens statewide. Make sure you have enough sun sauce. If you're going to go out and do any sun worshiping tomorrow, then uh, make sure you got enough sauce on so you don't get the nasty burn. Very, very dangerous this time of the year. 80s, water temperatures a little warmer as you'd expect down by the Keys, and forecast highs pretty much in the 90s. We'll have a look at some active radars in just a moment. Listen, it's okay to hassle with a handheld trimmer now and then, or even a small wheels mower as long as you stick to short grass. But now, you can have the best of both machines in the revolutionary two machines in one DR trimmer mower. First, the DR is a trimmer that rolls light as a feather on two big wheels. That takes the load off your back while you do all your trimming. Second, the DR is a heavy-duty bladeless mower. It clears rough areas, 
tall weeds, even wet grass without clogging. So now, with this one machine, you can take control of your property like never before with a revolutionary DR trimmer mower. Call toll-free 1-800-742-6666 for your big free package all about the revolutionary DR trimmer mower, plus special savings now in effect. That's 1-800-742-6666 for free DR detection. A pint of ice cream and boom, there's a spoon in my mouth. When that little pine calls, I answer on the first ring. Hello. And why not? These are brand new healthy choice pints. Yeah, pints loaded with the good stuff. A chewy fudge, gooey caramel, mm, cappuccino mocha fudge. They're rich, creamy, only two grams of fat. It's magic, and it's all mine. With new Healthy Choice Pines, I eat what I like. Time for the big spoon. It's ice cream eating weather now. Watch International Weather, now 42 minutes after every hour. Only on the Weather Channel. Weather you can always turn to. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast. Coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. big story today is the incredible level of heat and humidity combined. You know, it'd be one thing if we were dealing with uh, record highs such as you see here, but uh, also we have to keep in, in mind, very importantly, is that with these 100s that you see, in many cases we're talking humidity levels so incredibly high, it's a little unusual to see a heat wave of this magnitude with so much tropical juice injected into it, and it's very, very uncomfortable, very dangerous, in fact. We have very high heat indexes today, uh, the kind of day where actually, as far as outdoor activity is concerned, pretty much forget it. Wait till later this evening when the temperature starts to fall, and I'll tell you what, when it gets this hot in the midst of the day, it actually takes a good while into the evening before things get more tolerable. Uh, Baltimore, Maryland at 102. How about Central Park? 100 degrees. Allentown, Pennsylvania at 98. And the list goes on. Jackson, Kentucky even checking into the record books. That's a tie of a previous record high for this date at 95 degrees. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the heat and thunderstorms and see what's happening. Now here's this big bubble of high pressure over the Midwest. It's in the process of shifting a little bit to the south. Upper air winds are going to get a little strong here across the northern and central Great Lakes this evening, setting off these uh, severe thunderstorms. Uh, we have a large cluster of rain pushing through central and southern Minnesota with some local flooding reported. Tremendous storms north of Detroit, also Milwaukee storms around Waukesha, Ozaukee, and Milwaukee County 
on and off today. We get one cluster move through, goes out over the lake, and then another one will pop on through. And these are tremendous storms. Not much air motion going on uh, upstairs with these storms, so you'll notice the effect as far as the satellite sequence is concerned. These clouds develop uh, working off to the northeast pretty quickly. These clouds pop up at a given location and then as they as the moisture from the clouds and the thunderstorms gets up in the upper atmosphere it just kind of fans out so we get that almost looks like a pancake on a griddle effect. Uh, those are the storms where there's not much motion and there's a very high potential for flooding with these thunderstorms. There's so much moisture in the air that you could easily get two to three inches of rain from a cluster of storms in your neighborhood. So that holds for Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, uh, yeah, I mentioned that, and down into Kentucky. These are severe thunderstorm watches and just recently added Iowa south into Missouri and northeastern Kansas. Here's a look at a radar for you. West central Ohio primarily affected by these slow moving thunderstorms. That's right now. Now that should change a little bit as we go through the day. Cincinnati, these storms getting closer to you from the north and west. Butler County, severe thunderstorm pushing on through. Uh, the coverage drops off quite a bit as you head south into Kentucky and Tennessee. And then we pick up these storms, north side of Detroit, heading back in line to west central lower Michigan. Some severe, likewise around Milwaukee. We've had one inch hail around Waukesha County with 60 mile per hour wind gusts. And then just kind of a broad area of moderate rain pushing through southern Minnesota. Not too much severe weather here. The atmosphere is not incredibly unstable, but uh, we do have the potential for some flooding from time to time as that cluster moves through. And you even notice on the bottom of your screen some very intense storms moving through central Iowa. They may get on into Des Moines during the course of the afternoon. Check out Chicago 97, 93 over Grand Rapids. No rain in both locations, but head uh, northward and the front uh, shows up very clearly. 77 in Minneapolis, but still 91 in Des Moines. I suspect that may start dropping as the thunderstorms kick on through. Low pressure in Iowa, there's the front. And that's why we have the separation. Warm tropical muggies to the south. Much cooler Canadian air to the north with the overrunning clouds. Right along that dividing line, the severe weather's around Milwaukee Metro. Follow this run through New England. What a wild start to the weekend in New England. A tremendous cluster of storms raced out of Canada early this morning and produced widespread, and we mean widespread, wind damage in New York and then heading into the Berkshires and Massachusetts. I understand that even two communities in northwestern Massachusetts declaring a state of emergency after the storms had pushed through. 94 in Boston, northwest wind, 20, 25 miles an hour. It's like a blow dryer outside, incredible. 101, though, at New York, 102 in Philly. And when you factor in the high dew point temperatures, a 129 heat index in Philadelphia. That may be the highest one uh, we've seen in a long, long time. Satellite view, just some leftover clouds across the northeastern part of the nation. These are storms over the Tennessee River Valley producing heavy rain. And, of course, we still have our tropical storm, Chantal, in the Atlantic. The government of the Bahamas has issued a tropical storm warning for the southeastern Bahamas, including the Turks and Caicos Islands. Still trying to generate convection or thunderstorms around its center, but still not a very well-organized tropical system. Over the west, it's a nice day in California, although some low clouds just now coming up into the mouth of Monterey Bay. Here's your forecast. The cold front pushes down into south central Pennsylvania and stalls tomorrow. It's going to come back north towards New York City as a warm front, so there could be more rain pushing back into the city as we get into Sunday night. Heaviest rain with these thunderstorms, certainly in the Ohio Valley and the upper Midwest, and don't forget the Gulf Coast heading from Florida into Texas. More heat tomorrow. In fact, daytime highs in the 90s. And in the southwestern part of the country, it looks like daytime highs will be in the 100 plus range. We'll have more with a forecast in a moment. This vacation break is brought to you by Gold Coast Cruise Center. Taking a family on vacation can be an easy task. Treat yourself to a fantastic vacation. Take a cruise with Gold Coast Cruise Center. Take a fantastic vacation, an all-inclusive cruise vacation for less than $100 a day. This includes all your meals and buffets, fantastic Broadway-style shows and entertainment, most shipboard activities, and fabulous ports of call. The Bahamas, the Mexican Riviera, the Caribbean, San Juan, and many more. 
with Gold Coast Cruise Center, you can save from $300 to $1,500 per cabin. Call now and we'll send you a free set of cruise brochures. 1-800-443-7447. Be sure to ask about your complimentary cruise video. It's free. That's Gold Coast Cruise Center at 1-800-443-7447. Call now. For the conditions and temperatures across Europe, watch International Weather, coming up right after your local forecast, only on the Weather Channel. For up-to-date information on the weather that affects you, watch the local forecast, coming up next, only on the Weather Channel. Identify yourself. Do you grab the bull by the horns, spit in the face of danger, throw caution to the wind, or are you a cornflake eater? No way. You plow into the flavor flexing up and at them taste Wheaties. Made with wall to wall, indoor, outdoor, toasty, tasty, 100% whole wheat. A whole mouthful of flavor. It's the whole enchilada. So for taste that tears it up, let's loose, where's the pants? Try the over the top taste of whole wheat Wheaties. Zest is better for your skin than soap. Soap leaves a film that can dry your skin. But Zest rinses clean away. And the cleaner you rinse, the smoother you feel. Will my skin feel like your skin when I'm big? If you use Zest, be right back. Not fully clean and smooth. Unless you're Zest fully clean. Sometimes mommies really know their stuff. If weather forecasts are important to you or someone you know, then you'll love the Weather Channel's new Weather Forecast phone calling card. It's like having your own personal weather forecast in 600 U.S. cities plus 225 special worldwide forecasts anytime, 24 hours per day. You can call from any touchstone phone, even in hotels and airports, anywhere in the U.S. And it's sponsored by AT&T, so you know it's great. If you order now for this special introductory offer, you will get 30 prepaid minutes on your weather calling card for only $19. That's an $8.55 savings, like getting nine free minutes. After your first 30 minutes, it's only 95 cents per minute for additional weather forecast calls. It's a great gift for business travelers, photographers, engineers, truck drivers, vacationers, anyone who needs to get an accurate weather forecast quickly, anytime. Call 1-800-652-4500 now with your credit card ready to order your weather forecast calling card. That's 1-800-652-4500. Call now. Time to look ahead and it's sponsored by Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. Good taste is easy to recognize. Well, we're back into the scorch zone as we head into the new week, but uh, a lot better for most folks. We won't have the amount of heat that we've had over the last couple of days. And in fact, a cold front moves south towards Baltimore and Washington. We're gonna go with the 90s from the nation's capital Monday south and then heading into the southwest, look for plenty of heat. This will be a hot spot in the nation over the next couple of days. And then building heat, the heat starts getting pumped north into the plains as we head into Wednesday. Thursday, another front moves through to the Dakotas, so we'll go from the 90s on Wednesday, drop back into the 70s and the 80s. Also 70s and 80s in New England. Showers and thunderstorms both Monday and Tuesday, first the warm front, then the cold front. So. Hopefully some beneficial rain for some folks. And then Wednesday and Thursday, the front has stalled in the southeast with more isolated storms over the west. There are those among us with very simple tastes. They only want the best. And for them, there's Fancy Feast Gourmet Cat Food. Exceptionally moist and delicious. Fancy Feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. Fancy Feast invites you to the Frisky CFA Cat Show. Call this number for local details.
Free flea spray. Free f now you can get free flea spray and pet shampoo when you call 1 800 Terminex for new service and say free flea spray five times fast. Hello, Terminex. Flea flea spray. It's that easy. For the Terminex branch nearest you, call 1 800 Terminex. Good visibility is essential to driving safety, especially during wet and hazardous weather. Unless you can see where you're driving, you're an accident just waiting to happen. That's why you should be using Rain-X, the invisible windshield wiper. It disperses rain, sleet, and snow, mud, bugs, and grime on contact. Now that's performance. Clearly, Rain-X makes the difference between seeing and not seeing what's ahead. For safety's sake, go out and get your Rain-X today. Look for Rain-X, the invisible windshield wiper at all fine automotive departments near you. Check out International Weather. It's sponsored by the Travel Channel. Well, let's see what's happening as we scan the forecast over the next 24 hours. Midday, Sunday, a cold front pushes its way through Poland. There'll be some showers and some afternoon thunderstorms ahead of that front. The tail end of the front kind of washes away. Well, we won't notice much contrast here as we head into late afternoon. It'll be tough to find the front. Uh, the low pressure with another trough slides through the British Isles. It'll be cooler here with the clouds and the showers responsible for holding some of the temperatures down at times. But you notice south of that front in Italy, central and southern Italy in the 80s, likewise in the Adriatic, we'll find warmer 90s as we head into both central and southern sections of Spain. Specifically, Athens, uh, partly cloudy forecast coming up tomorrow, low 90s. Pretty much the same forecast for Madrid, a partly cloudy but cooler day in Frankfurt with mid 70s and rain in the forecast for Stockholm. We'll have the latest information to pass along to you regarding Tropical Storm Chantal in the Atlantic as it continues to move off towards the northwest. Complete tropical update next. Sun, snow, rain, or fog. Know what to expect. Just 95 cents a minute. Dial 1 900 weather and connect. Property owners looking for a better way to maintain the overgrown off-lawn areas on your property? Call toll-free for details on the amazing Troyville Sickle Bar Mower, including this free information package and how you can use a brand new sickle bar on your own property free till 1996. The Troyville Sickle Bar Mower charges through tough, wiry field grass, over rugged, overgrown hillsides, around ponds, along fence lines. Even standing saplings are no match for the Scissor Action Troyville Sickle Bar Mower. And with a big 42-inch cutting blade, and breakthrough power steering, you'll make quick work of big off-lawn mowing jobs. Plus, right now, you can use a brand new Sickle Bar mower, free till 1996, with no money down and no payments till next year. For all the exciting details, call for your free information package today. For details on our whole line of Troy Build Sickle Bar mowers, including how to have a Sickle Bar mower delivered to your home with no money down and no payments till 1996, call toll-free 1-800-733-9200. That's 1-800-733-9200. Call now. the Weather Channel for accurate forecasts at your convenience. Weather you can always turn to. How do they do it? rent direct delivers real value. They rent quality new and used cars, trucks, and vans. Vehicles of many makes and models with proven reliability. They give you a ride with pride. All for an amazing price. Each rent direct is owned and operated by someone that lives in your town. So you're treated like a neighbor, not a number. How does rent direct do it? It must be magic. 
For real value in renting a car, truck, or van, call the Renarec location nearest you. Mention the Renarec family to receive your special bonus. You don't have money to burn, so you save with a low-priced detergent. And for this tough stain, you had a free treater. There's only one problem. These two products together cost more and do less than this product alone. Ultra Era. This pre-treater plus this big cap full of low-priced detergent can't beat this stain. But just a small dose of Ultra Era cuts right through. That's proof you can take to the bank. Ultra Era, the power tool for stains. Let's go ahead and update the situation regarding Tropical Storm Chantal. I'll go ahead and give you some of the latest information here. We just received uh, the new advisory, uh, so some of the information has changed. As of 5 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, uh, we're talking about coordinates of 23.3 north, so a tenth of a degree here, 23.3 north, and now at longitude 68.3 west. That would put it roughly 380 miles north northwest of San Juan, Puerto Rico. As far as the sustained, maximum sustained winds still at 50, no change here. West northwest motion still moving in the same direction, not quite as fast. Instead of nine, we have eight miles per hour, and this remains the same, 1005 millibars, 29.68 inches of mercury. And don't forget, uh, officially, the government of the Bahamas has issued the tropical storm warnings for the southeastern Bahamas, including the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, that will remain in effect as we head into this evening. These uh, lighter shaded areas for the rest of the Bahamas heading off to the northwest, that's a tropical storm watch. Here's the colorized imagery. It is still a tropical system which does not uh, want to be, it does not want to get its act totally together. Over the last couple of days, or actually since it developed, we've had attempts at the tropical system to get better organized. Some of the convection at times has appeared to start wrapping around the area of lowest pressure, but the process has not completed itself. So while the trend may indicate at one given time frame that it's trying to intensify, shortly thereafter then we'll get indications that it just cannot seem to wrap that convection around completely around the center of lowest pressure. Overall, since uh, let's say 24 hours ago, the lowest pressure has come down a little bit. Indications this morning that there was a closed eye wall, but the reconnaissance aircraft has worked its way on back out of the area now. They're down around Antigua. We're gonna have a new flight coming in well, at eight o'clock or so this evening, and at that time we'll have more information regarding any changes considering the system's integrity. You'll notice as you look off to the west, some of these uh, higher cirrus clouds coming off the thunderstorm tops in Cuba. They're heading off uh, from the southwest to the northeast, so we have a bit of a west uh, wind showing up there as you head southwest of the Bahamas and on down into Cuba. As far as conjecture as to where the system is heading, uh, still some uncertainty as to the eventual track, uh, but again, right now it is moving west-northwest at eight miles per hour. Here's the visible imagery, and you can notice a little more detail on the cloud elements. Some thunderstorms developing north of what appears to be the center of circulation, but not a massive uh, development of thunderstorms by any means, and we don't have much uh, wrapping around the actual center, at least it doesn't appear to be, so still not quite organized, as uh, that has been pretty much the case since it originally developed. Upper level wind pattern shows a big dome of high pressure on the mid-Atlantic coast, light northerly drift to the wind as you head down towards eastern Florida. Here's our tropical storm Chantal. You notice uh, the winds here out over the top and coming out towards the east and the Atlantic are pretty much out of the west. Some fairly light winds, but they do increase a little bit as we head east of the tropical storm. We'll go ahead and put it into motion for you. You can see these high clouds dropping down into the bottom of that trough. But as far as the tropical storm is uh, concerned, again, movement towards the west-northwest, and that may push it on into this area of some lighter winds. We'll keep you posted. And again, reconnaissance aircraft is scheduled to get in there early this evening. We'll give you additional information. That's the west coast of Africa, the islands out into the Atlantic. That